Hey everyone, welcome to a new video, and today we are over here on a friend's account, Ghost Wrath from server 432, VIP0, and we are going to make this big bird even a bigger bird. We are going to make Resonus Ho-Ho. Overlord Ho-Ho is the strongest Pokemon, and since this is a VIP0 account, obviously we struggle a little bit with Platinum gear. We have a little bit of Strike cards, we have some skills going on, not bad, and obviously this Ho-Ho is already level 40 fusion. As a VIP0, the only way you can obtain a Resonus nowadays is every two weeks when they are showing up, you need to exchange them for UD shards, and you only have one single exchange chance. So Ghost Wrath was actually saving for probably over a year, maybe when we had like fire books and stuff, and he managed to gather enough resonance crystals for resonance ho-ho. Now resonance ho-ho is one of my favorite resonances, especially because it can counter black and white if you need them too. But before we make that bird resonance, I guess we should go and battle over here maybe against this player, and we can check the performance of ho-ho in battle. Not just ho-ho itself, the flying team that Ghost Wrath has. Now, in my opinion, I would not play this flying team, okay? <laughs> this is his personal preference, uh, because, well, you have a buffer, which is over the tornadoes, you have the attacker slash buffer, which is Resonus Ho-Ho, soon, it's Overload Ho-Ho right now, and the thing is, well, right now, we actually won very easily. I don't know, the first time that I tried, I didn't win so easily. But the thing is, I usually avoid having two attackers on the same team, because then you want to invest on a single attacker, and your second attacker in the same team just falls behind, and it doesn't feel so good. But then again, everybody has their own playstyles, this is a VIP0 account, so he's not playing competitively, and technically, you, we can easily see this if we look at the strike cards numbers over here, he's not playing competitively, he's making different overlords that he enjoys, and he is enjoying the game that way, not making like the best competitive teams that he can. And that's one of the things that I also wanted to mention is if you are a VIP 0 or low VIP and you are aiming for a resonance Pokemon, you are going to make a big sacrifice because you need to spend a lot of uni shards every two weeks and technically you are sacrificing strike card. So as a suggestion for the people who are trying to be a little bit competitive, if you want to just be stronger and, you know, just take down some of your enemies in the arena, in the server that you are playing. Consider making cheaper teams without a resonance, because if you are going to save up for a resonance and you are not recharging, that means that you are spending a lot of resources that you could be investing in strike cards anyways. And by investing on strike cards, you would have your account, your main attacker stronger. Also, before we make this bird into a resonance, I just want to point out that if you want to play Ho-Ho, you need a golden pass. You are going to ignore any skill breakthrough that you get. Even, for example, if I go over here, you can see that you can get a golden cyclone attack, a golden ultimate, sacred fire. You are going to ignore those because your most important thing, first of all, is always the passive. Oh, by the way, I'm not saying that it's always the passive for every single Pokemon. Not every single Pokemon depends on the passive to do stuff, but most of them, yeah, most of them do. And now, without further ado, we are going over here, we have 300 resonance crystals, we are going to select our overlord Ho-Ho, and we are going to transform this big boy into resonance. Now, when we get into resonance, we get new skills, new stuff. The most important thing is, of course, the echo power, because the enemy will take 50% extra damage if they are not resonance themselves, or if they don't have echo power themselves. But for the echo power, we need level 110, and we need to check that out in a little bit, because the Pokemon can go up to level 120, and I am not sure if Ghost has enough for level 120, and that's what we are going to check out right now. It's his first resonance, let's go look at that beauty, and honestly getting a resonance as a VIP 0, especially resonance ho-ho, feels, feels amazing. Uh, now that I'm trying to think about it, I think it would be probably the best resonance that the VIP Zero can have. You are not going to make a black and white without having, well, black and white. Maybe some people would enjoy having Heatran, for example, or Resonance Lugia, because they are both like very good resonances. But honestly, 
like Hoho -Ho is universally good. So technically it fits on any team. If one day you just give up on Hoho -Ho as an attacker, it can be a buffer, it can be a support. And yeah, that's the beauty about Hoho. -Ho. So very nice choice indeed. But now the question is, do we have enough levels? And over here we can see that we can level up 10 levels. Now I am not going to touch this because what can we do? We have this gear over here, Iron Boots. And as a VIP Zero, getting that EXP might take a while. One of the first things that he should have been doing is putting Ho Ho in the home because he was already planning Resonance Ho Ho. So one of the things that you should be doing is just putting over here your Ho Ho at home. Ho Ho, by being at home, it does not stack EXP because the EXP is capped, it's limited, as we can see from this Reggie Gigas. But if he leaves Ho Ho at home, it stacks friendship, it stacks intimacy. That's what he should be stacking. Now, we put Ho Ho over here and it will keep stacking intimacy. And in order to unlock our Echo Power, which is the big thing about the Resonance Pokemon, we need level 110 intimacy. Now, the reason why I took out the gears is because I was going to try and find these gears. We have Azra Shoes, which will give us EXP bonus, which means that, for example, if I go over here, you can see that I can level up 10 times with the current amount of EXP that Ghost Wrath has. But if I go and equip those boots, uh, we are going like this, excuse me. If we are going to equip those boots, we can see that we can level up 10 times. Um, maybe he has enough EXP. Huh. Maybe he, ha maybe he has enough EXP. Wait, hold on. Let's actually do this. Yeah, we actually have enough EXP. I don't know what I was talking about. But technically, if you are going to make a resonance, remember that you can make some golden boots called Azra gear. And those Azra gear can have this effect over there. Okay, this is universal. This applies to anybody who are planning to level up a Pokemon. If you are planning to level up a resonance specifically, because a resonance Pokemon do take a lot of resources, do take a lot of EXP. And if you get yourself some Azra gear, you get this passive over here, which gives you more EXP for your Pokemon, okay? And I honestly thought he didn't have enough because I was forgetting that you can only level up 10 levels at a time. So, well, um, there we go. Even though that was like 60% of his EXP pool. So we could have been a little bit, uh, you know, we, we could have been short on levels. But nevertheless, this bird will have to stay at home because at home is where it will get intimacy. We go over here, we need to wait probably a little bit so that the intimacy refreshes and here we have it. This is our problem right now. This is our big problem right now because we have no way of boosting intimacy. Why? Because this Pokemon is already level 40 fusion. If this Pokemon is already level 40 fusion, we cannot do anything. If you are planning to make a resonance yourself, one of the things that you can do is, for example, grab a random Pokemon that you don't care about. Uh, I'm grabbing Shaman, of course, because nobody cares about Shaman. But basically, if we go over there to the Shaman, Let's go really quick, really quick, really quick. Shaman. Uh, imagine this Shaman already has a bunch of friendship. Or any Pokemon. It can be a Caterpie, okay? Does it, the Pokemon does not matter. As long as you have friendship, you can just use this Pokemon to sacrifice into the resonance that you are making. And if we would go over here, if we would use the Shaman, for example, into the Pokemon that we want to get intimacy, a percentage of the shaman's intimacy or friendship would go to the Pokemon that you are fusing it to. So that's something that we could have done over here, but he's already level 40 fusion, so we cannot do anything. So this gear is pointless because this gear only gives you extra EXP for your level. There's nothing that boosts intimacy. So we are going to equip back our golden gear and there's nothing that we can do besides waiting leaving this bird at home and getting enough for level 110 intimacy one day. Let me just fix something over here because I noticed there was some wrong skills selected. We have this one, which is nice in battle. By the way, this is not defenses. This is attack and special attack. Uh, it's a typo from the game. On the number two, we don't want the 20% max HP because this is base stat HP. 
we usually want to go for in battle stuff so we either want for both the defenses by 30 percent which is amazing or we want to go for damage reduction in this specific case since it's a ho-ho and you are not playing against a sword and shield because if you are you will probably be dead anyways we are going for in battle defenses because it will probably help him the most over here uh we could go for res or crit I honestly want to play Ho-Ho as an attacker, uh, and I I think Ghost wants to play uh, Ho-Ho as an attacker, so we go for crit. On this one, we don't want physical attack because of the same logic as before. This physical attack is based at physical attack. It scales with strike cards, scales with whatever. So this 15% is garbage. We are going again for the in-battle speed and in-battle attacks. And this one, this one is actually nice. It's actually nice, let's keep it that way. And this did not save, so I have to do it again. And there we go, now it's saved. And now just to end the video, we are going to battle against the same player that we did at the start of the video. I don't expect the battle to be any different, to be honest, because there is like no much room for improvement in this, uh, in this scenario, in this battle in specific. But the thing that I want to care about the most is if Ho-Ho had Echo Power, if Ho-Ho had level 110 Intimacy, Ho-Ho would have killed those Pokemon easier or faster or something like that. I don't know how to explain it, but you guys get the point. And it's really hard to showcase it against any other teams because, well, everybody has Sword and Shield. <laughs> this is the problem over here is that everybody has sword and shield and mel metal and specifically mel metal it's just mel metal is so annoying to deal with mel metal is just so annoying man and then we have sword stealing our buffs we have everybody stunning us and there we go we are dead we don't exist anymore oh and by the way if it would be me building that flying team since we already have overlord tornadoes i would not play overlord thunderous but i would instead put an overlord victini over there specifically for the skill power and crit damage that it provides for the whole team even if it dies this passive stays alive so victini would be like a very good choice but sadly he doesn't even have the basic victini so maybe one day he changes this i don't know or maybe an overlord rayquaza honestly would be quite cool Anyways, this was it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, thanks to Ghost for providing us his account for this video. And if you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys on the next video.